Overrated. This word means something or someone that is rated or valued too highly. And for today's video, I'm going to be giving my list on the 10 most overrated Honkai Star Rail characters. Now listen, before I even get into this video, there's three things I need to address. Number one, me saying a character's overrated does not automatically equate to me saying they're bad. A character can be pretty darn good, but the fan base of said character puts them on a pedestal and says, oh, they're so good. Oh, you need to have them in your account, yada, yada, yada. When that really isn't the case, your account could survive without them. Number two, me saying they're overrated can be in a variety of different ways. Like, oh, the kit is overrated. Their animations are overrated. The character itself is overrated and so on and so forth. So there's going to be a lot of criterias that some characters will meet that will end them up on this list, whether you like it or not. And last but not least, you're either upset at the fact that this list exists for one of two things. One, you really like the character so much and you just got upset that I said something about the character. Or two, you know that I know that I'm spitting facts, so you're upset at the fact that I'm basically pointing out the obvious flaws about the character and why they're overrated. So now that that's out of the way, let's begin with number 10, the least overrated character on the list. And the least overrated character on this list is going to be... <gasps> Yunli. Now look, 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 hey, hey. Before, before you berate the video with dislikes, let me cook for a second, okay? Yun Lee is by no means a bad DPS. Yun Lee is pretty darn good. I've seen the numbers she can reach. I've seen her gameplay. I've even played with her. And I personally find her to be pretty good. But I just don't think she's all of that crazy. And there are going to be people who are going to glaze this character like if she's the second coming of Christ. And I just don't believe that her counters are all of that. Let's be honest. She's a counter and she's a counter DPS. And if I'm being honest, maybe this is a hot take, maybe it isn't. But if I'm being honest, I do believe that counter units aren't necessarily all of that crazy. They're not that entertaining to look at. They're not really, let's be honest, you're not going to be doing much. When you put this character on, you're just going to be watching your character. Counter does her little special, counter does her little special until you press her ultimate at a specific timing. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, uh, I don't really see her being a crazy unit. She's not that overrated. So that's why she's at number 10. So number nine, this is like slightly more overrated, but not that crazy. Shade. Look, follow the look, follow up attack. Amazing. There's follow up attack units so far are have been getting fed so crazy. Like y'all got Fei Zhao, y'all got Topaz, y'all got Dr. Ratio, y'all got Hunt March 7. Like look, y'all follow up attack units are crazy. Okay. But let's all be honest here. To the 12J fans, let's be honest here. Jade is not that crazy. First and foremost, I didn't even make a build guide on Jade when she dropped because I completely forgot she was coming out. She was so forgotten. It's in it's insane. It's kind of sad, really. Did she have a significance in the story? Not that much. She didn't really have a significance. She was just there, like, oh, let me sell your soul away and such. That's why people, that's why people liked her. They gooned over her, essentially. And sure, when you use her, she's pretty good. Like, oh, like, oh, shoot, like, hey, I probably was sleeping on this character. But to the 12J fans that will put her on this pedestal and be like, oh my god, she's so good. Stop. And maybe I'm schizophrenic and think there's Jade fans like that. But I don't believe that she's all of that or you should have her on the account. Let's be honest. For number 8, who am I going to put for number 8? So you're going to be upset that why the hell is Fushuan in here? She's an amazing sustainer. And look, and I agree, she's pretty good. And I agree. But there are just better sustainers out here these days where you wouldn't want to have Fushuan on your team. And look, her being able to split up oncoming damage to everyone. Will I call that a good effect? Not really, unless it depends on how much damage the set team is taking. But 
we have sustainers like Aventurine. We have sustainers like uh, Uocha. We, we have good sustainers. And let's be honest, you have no excuse of not having Aventurine on your account because he's rerunning just now. So you literally have no reason to be like, oh, well, I don't have Aventurine. So that's why I'm using Fushuan. Uh, shut the hell up. Just pull Aventurine and be done with it. Okay? Fushuan just doesn't keep up these days. And maybe she does. I don't have her. And maybe she does. And maybe I'm wrong. But this day and age, she just, there's no reason to have Fushuan in your team unless she's your only sustainer or unless you don't want to use Japard. Because let's be honest, Japard is pretty, pretty bad. He sucks balls. So that, I'm being honest, those are the only reasons. Fushuan is cool, but I just don't think her kit keeps up this day and age. Like, you're not going to really be entertained with her, with her on your team. Like, what she does is pretty cool, but there's just better options. So we're close to the top five most overrated characters but let's let's just get these two sections out of the way Branya huh? I know what you're thinking okay this list is an L already he put Branya at number seven most overrated character and look let me cook for a second Branya is by no means a bad unit her action advance for it is pretty good I have her, and if I'm being honest, I have no use for her. I literally have no characters that I believe would benefit from Branya. I don't have Jing Liu, I don't have... I have Imagine Dragons, but I have Sparkle as well. And let's be honest, Sparkle is just a better Branya, whether you like it or not. And I'm not a master of Branya, so I don't necessarily know her that good. But I just know for a fact that characters these days aren't using Branya. Like, you, you, there's literally no team out there this day and age that is using Branya that Sparkle wouldn't do, like, significantly better. Her kit itself is just, just better than Branya. So, yeah, Branya this day and age is not cooking at all. I will not, I would not, I'm not seeing her on any teams this day and age unless you're using Jing Liu. But let's continue. Ah, oh, this is gonna sting some people. But Silver Wolf is at number six, right below top five most overrated characters. And it's not because she's bad, it's not because she's lackluster. Her weakness implant is pretty darn good, don't get me wrong. I feel like she would be on my Akron team, if anything. Actually, I do feel like Silver Wolf belongs down here. Silver Wolf is not bad. She does a lot of debuffs which would be pretty good for your Akron team. Not just Akron, but just in general. She's pretty good. The weakness implant's gonna work any way you like it. You could put her on Rappa's team and she'll work wonders on that team. So I will replace Fu Xuan. I would put Fu Xuan at number six because Fu Xuan herself, besides the damage being split up across your entire team, there's nothing else really good about her. So yeah, I put Fu Xuan at number six and put Silver Wolf at number eight. Silver Wolf is still really darn good. So now we are, we are at our top five most overrated characters. And let's see if you all can guess before I even Put, before I even put the number five spot, the, put, put the number fifth most overrated character, put down in the comments below, who do you believe is going to be the top five? Because let's be honest, I do, I do feel like it's pretty obvious who's going to be the top five, but some people may be shocked. You never know. So let's continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think everybody could have saw that coming. Imagine Dragon's top five, top fifth most overrated character. He's lackluster, he's boring. He does damage, don't get me wrong. He does pretty good damage. But if you don't have Sparkle or if you don't have Branya, his damage is going to be significantly lowered. His kit is mm, pretty average for a DPS. Like, around, like, his time, like, when he was, like, in his prime, he was definitely crazy. I do believe he was, like, top one best DPS in the game in his time. But this day and age, we have characters like Akron, we have characters like Boot Hill, we have characters like Firefly, Rappa. We just have better DPSs this day and age that just overthrow Imagine Dragons. And the enemies and stages that are coming out this day and age, he can't keep up. He's too old, okay? Grandpa needs to sit down, Grandma needs to take his meds. He's not seeing the light of day, let's be honest. If you have any of these DPSs, he's in the back collecting dust. So yeah, 
top 5 most overrated character. People will still glaze this man, talking about he's still good, still relevant. No, he's not. Let's be honest, he's not. At number 4, who is going to be our 4th most overrated character above Don Hung? Yep, y'all saw it coming. So if you all don't know, a little fun fact about me is that I don't like Argenti. Not his character, but I don't like his kit. I, I really do find his kit to be boring. Like, I've played with him. Don't get me wrong. You're probably thinking I've never tried him out and it's just biased towards him. No, I just, I played with him and I just don't like his kit. His kit is awfully boring. Sure, you have to farm, sure, you can have to farm up the ultimate twice for him to do a prettier ultimate. That's pretty much it. He's an erudition character. What can I say? Most eruditions are boring. Besides Rappa, Rappa is by far the most entertaining erudition character I've played with. He just, his kid's boring, his ultimate's boring, his special's boring, his animations are boring, his animations are pretty boring. I just don't like Argenti. And people, there is a fan base for Argenti. I know there's a fan base for every single character, but I know there's a fan base for Argenti that will glaze this man and say that he's still relevant. He isn't. He's not. Literally everybody else and every other DPS is better than this man. I'll say it. I just don't like Argenti and his kit. I just don't like Argenti and his kit. Now we had our top three most overrated characters. Now I'm pretty sure you can guess who's in this top three, right? I'm pretty sure you can guess. Leave down in the comments below who you believe is the top three. Let's go. Number three, baby. Blade is overrated to the moon and back. Let's talk about it. Blade basically plays around his HP. Now, I'm probably wrong, and there's probably an Eidolon that negates his HP cut every time he uses his skill. But to my knowledge, I don't think so. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please, but I don't believe so. But even if he did, it's still not going to stop him from being an overrated character. The fact that he has a counter and it needs to be at a specific like threshold of health, like below, I think 50%. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not the best when it comes to blade info, but the fact that you have to heavily rely on him taking damage, him him like losing health in order to do most of his do like his big like counter attack it's pretty lame and characters these days are hitting like trucks and sure you can build blade to tank but you don't want to build him too tanky to the point where he can't use his counter so you're gonna have to rely on the sustainer to also just make sure he doesn't die and that sucks i think he does heal with his counter he does heal with his counter but yikes i bet there's just better dps's out there besides blade like you can do better like it's time to replace blade on your team come on come on you know it you know it so now we're at our second most overrated character and i'm pretty sure now you're seeing the picture and you can tell who's going to be number two and the number two spot is going to be jing liu Sorry Braxophone, sorry Jing Liu mains. It doesn't even matter that she got a relic set that's specifically for what she does. She's still overrated. She is single target. She Her skill is single target, her ultimate's multi-target, but that's not gonna save her from just being an overall lackluster DPS. Now, I do believe she's already met her potential. Her potential's already been passed. I don't think there's gonna be any character that's gonna be specifically for Jing Liu that'd be like, oh my god, Jing Liu's coming back. And maybe in like five years, maybe I'll be wrong. But so far, hell no. We're going into the super break meta. We're in the super break meta. I'm gonna be here for a while, and Jing Liu is not a part of that super break meta. Jing Liu's time has passed. She was once a pretty good character, but now she's just not it. And if you don't have Sparkle or if you don't have Branya, even worse. She'd be she'd be up here. But for now, she's down here, second most overrated. And lastly, for our most overrated character in Honkai Star Rail. Now, some people might be mad, some people might tell me I'm wrong, but just because this character is pretty darn good, it's not gonna save her from being bad, and I already kinda spoiled it, but let's ignore that. And lastly, for number one, it's going to be... Sila, Sila, 
in my honest opinion, is the most overrated character in Hawkeye Star Rail. Sure, her potential is crazy. If you know how to play this character, she's going to do wonders. She most likely will wave clear. But to the average Joe, just looking at her, she doesn't she just doesn't seem all that crazy. And that's why I put her up here. Because sure, people could say, oh, she's like one of the craziest DPS is still in this game. Oh, like she's crazy. Her damage is like amazing and sure that may be true but that's not gonna stop her from being you know from time itself just surpassing her we again we have dps's this day and age that just outperform that is much more simple and just outperform for example rappa Bei Zhao, Acheron. There's just TPSs that are just, yo, use this character, it's gonna do crazy numbers, and people are going to gravitate towards those characters more than, oh, let's say Sila. And if I'm being honest, her skill, it's alright. Literally, you can, it screams like early HSR. So nothing is really gravitating towards people wanting her. And that's why I believe she's just the most overrated character in this game. Now, my reasons could be absolute dog crap, but again, it's just my opinion. Opinion. and if you're mad at my opinion it is what it is some people may agree as well but whatever so yeah this is my 10 most overrated characters in hsr some were more obvious than others some of you may have been surprised with certain like placings or certain characters and sure it's whatever but yeah that's gonna be it for this video i am going to be playing wuthering waves after I upload this video, happily playing Wuthering Waves. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next Hawkeye Star Rail video. Signing off.